Alison book. Um, so a few months actually sitting in the classes with me will know that um, the Julia Donaldson um, books are a favourite um, for a lot of children's yoga teachers. Um, there's always a nice theme. So this one, for example, sharing. Um, so there's always a nice sort of outcome. And um, this is one of my favourites because I, I just love doing especially on a nice warm sunny day and I hope you enjoy it. Um, so we'll just start by getting our bodies nice and warm. So can you bring your knees out in front of you and can you give them a swing from side to side? Let's get those hips nice and warm, those ankles nice and warm. And can you give your legs a little tap, a little wobble, a little pat? Lovely. And can you make some big circles with your arms? So nice big circles. One, two, three big circles. So um, obviously um, the videos that I'm putting on um, are kind of for, for all ages. Um, like this book here um, is obviously aimed at younger children. That doesn't mean to say the older children can't join in. They do love the stories. Um, and it's nice just to just to go through the poses. So, um, older ones, my tweens in particular, please don't feel this is too babyish for you, because you're still getting all the benefits of that lovely yoga that we do on a Mondays. So, just going to move from side to side here. Just lifting up the shoulders towards the ear, and have a good shake out. So, shake out those wrists, shake out those feet. Maybe make some cookie dough, some circles. Lovely, our fingers and wrists work really, really hard in yoga, so it's good to get them nice and warm. So it's just starting by doing some nice big deep belly breaths. So we're going to do bubblegum breath this morning. So pop your bubblegum into your mouth, give your cheeks a little squirt, get it nice and chewy in your mouth. Have you done that? Breathing in through the nose, filling the tummy full of air, and blow up your bubblegum bubble as far as you can. Oh. Ah, we're going to do that one more time. Are we ready? Give it another little chew in your mouth, so give those cheeks a little rub. Breathing in through the nose. It's time to see if you can blow an even bigger bubble with your bubblegum. And one more time, are we ready? Let's make this the biggest bubble yet. Okay, so give it a little chew. Breathing in through the nose. Pop. Excellent, well done. So, we are going to find out what's going to happen in our story today, Shirley Michelle. shell running along by the sea. You can't come in. You can't share a shell with me. So can we come into crab pose? So we're going to come up. We're going to bring our hands behind us and our feet about hip width distance apart. And we're just going to lift up our bottoms like a crab. And we're going to move from side to side. So one, two, lovely. And one, two, the other way. While you're here, can you see if you can stretch your crab leg out? Excellent, well done. And the other leg. Fantastic, well done, crabs. So, here we have a snail in a shell. Let's do snail pose. So, can you lie on your back? And can you bring your knees into your chest and wrap yourself up into a little snail? If you want to, Lift up your head here and see if you can touch your nose with your knees and then unravel. Well done. 
a little bit more of a bit. So bend your one knee, straighten your one leg. Walk if you're jogging, walk this morning. And then can you walk your feet all the way to your hands? Very, very slowly. Come all the way up. Like a rag doll, starting to straighten. Fantastic. And I know a lot of you like this one, whale pose. So we're going to come down onto our tummy. We're going to lift up our head. And we're going to lift up our tail. And we're going to come into a lovely whale pose. Fantastic. So because this is very bendy on the back, what you need to do here is you need to come all the way back into lovely resting child pose. rest on the beach. So we've got our boat out at sea too. So can you remember how we row that boat? So we're going to come wrap arms on one of our legs. We're going to make some big circles. So we're going to row our boat out to sea. Fantastic, well done. Can we do that in the other direction? Brilliant. And then squat legs. So rowing our boat in one direction and then rowing it in the direction. Fantastic. Can you be super clever? Can you row both your feet at the same time? See if you can grab hold of both ankles. It's quite a balance here so just be careful that if you've got um, anything behind you in case you fall back. So if you've got a pillow behind you, a soft landing that's fine and then row them in the other direction. Fantastic rowing. Well done. So our poor little crab with no shell, what is he going to do? Luke, a gull with a wide open beak. Run for your life, crab, hide. At last in a pool, an empty shell. Quick grab, crab, scuttle inside. So let's be that big seagull. So coming up onto our mats or onto the floor again, standing up. And we're going to just come raise our wings. So can you see that? And then we're just going to reach our legs back. Oop. Try not to wobble. I am very wobbly this morning, but that's absolutely fine. And then come into seagull pose. Give those wings a little flap. Excellent. Can we swap legs? Can we do that on the other side? So bringing up our wings. And you'll always have one side that's easier to balance on than the other. So hopefully this is my better side this morning. Fantastic, bringing up that leg, flapping those wings like a seagull. And let's see where crab goes. One crab safe in his shell, under the summer sun, roaming all over the rock pool in his wonderful home for one. Can we reach up to the sun this morning? So can we come up onto our knees? And can we reach up our arms, reach towards the sun, look up towards the sun? And then can we come all the way down, make ourselves into a rock, like in the rock pool, into child pose. Fantastic, well done. Can we do that one more time? So coming up onto our knees, taking a really big stretch, reaching up towards the sun, hello sun. And then coming all the way down, back onto our mat, into child pose. Head on the floor if you can. Sitting our bottom onto our feet, doing that lovely stretch out of your shoulders. Well done, everybody. Look, a blob, a bright purple blob. What can this blob thing be? Go away, blob, whoever you are. Touch the floor, please, with your toes. Give them a tickle on your ear. And 
and then coming all the way up into our big tall straight mountain. Lovely, well done everybody. Look, a fish with jewels and quite fresh crab buds in it. Here goes. Out shoots a tentacle quick as a flash, stinging the fish on the nose. Let's get our tentacles out. So let's come up into our warrior pose. Okay, can you bring your arms out wide? Whoever you are, you can't share a shell with us. That's a bit mean, isn't it? I'm not a brush, I'm a bristle worm. Please let me in, don't be mean. I love doing housework. I'll suck up the scraps and keep the shell lovely and clean. So can we be a brushworm? Can we be a wriggly worm? So coming down on flat tummy. Just 
shell. See if you can roll backwards and forwards this time. So backwards, forwards, side to side with our friends in our shell. Fantastic, come all the way to sit and take care. Well done. But look how they've grown. The shell is too small. You're getting too heavy, said Crab. I'm fed up with being your taxi and it's time that you found a new cab. Really, says Blob, how ungrateful. Here I am slaving away, scaring up all the fierce fishes. They clap and they spit on me. I wouldn't eat them today. So they've left and grown now like an all grown in the shell. And can you come on to the ball and into a little squat? So bring your feet out a little bit wider out and if you're feeling balanced here can you bring your hands into the center of your chest so we're going to grow up nice and tall like the three friends in the shell they've got too big for the shell are you ready grow it up Whoa. come all the way down again can we Whew. fantastic well done <laughs> let's see what's happened now they've but nobody hears. The other two creatures split off. Blob finds an empty ice cream tub. Crab finds a nice paper cup. Crab in the cup, Blob on the tub. Each one pretends to be glad. Brush doing lots of crab's work. No smell lonely and very sad. So let's do some housework. Can we come into tabletop pose? Make yourself
the Welsh are washed up by the fire. It's ready. I've done all the housework. Climb in and welcome home. So, just by not talking to each other and not really knowing what's going on. So, luckily, our brush has seen sense and made them all be friends again. So, can we make ourselves into a lovely shark? Can you bring your legs out really wide? So, remember that yoga should never hurt. So, just bring them as wide as feels good for you today. Lift up your arms. Deep breath in. And as you breathe out, we're going to come all the way down and close our shell. Remember, we're going to be a clam shell today. If you can grab hold of your feet, that's great. If you can't, just be a shell like this. Or even if you can only go to here, just be a shell like this. So, breathing in. Ah, coming down, closing our clam shell. Fantastic, well done. And feeling ourselves all the way back up. Give those shoulders a nice little roll, big circle again. Well done, you've worked really, really hard today. Three friends sharing a shell. Happy as housemates can be. Rocketing all around the rock pool in their wonderful home for free. That's beautiful. The night time comes. Can you see them still in their rock pool? Sharing their shell. Fantastic. And the stars twinkling in the sky. That tells me it's nearly time for relaxation. Can you make twinkly stars with your hands? Ah, then can you come all the way down? into a lying down position, imagining those stars high up in the sky. So for relaxation, you can do whatever you want here. You might want to cushion, you might want a blanket. So if you can, spread out your legs a little bit wider than your hips. See if you can make sure your palms up towards the ceiling or towards the sky. And close your eyes. Today for relaxation, I thought I'd read or tell you one of my folk tales that I know that my all my children, like especially the older children, and it's called the Broken Pot. So um, this is about a pot that was cracked, and there's a water carrier in this story, and if you can imagine that he has a pole over his shoulders and it has a pot either side. So his job each day is to go down to the stream, fill the water pots full of water, and take them back to his master's island. So off he goes like he does every day. And this particular day, one of the pots is very, very sad. And so the water carrier says to the pot, why ever are you upset? Why ever are you sad? And he says, well, you see, I, have a, I know I have a big crack in me. And I know that you work really, really hard every day. You go all the way down to the village to the stream and get water for the master, bring it back here. But because of my crack, when I get back, or when you get back, I've lost half of my water and all your efforts seem to be going in vain. So the water carrier says to the pot, OK, tomorrow I want you to have a look. When we go out on the way back, I want you to have a look around you, see what you can see, and then we'll talk about it further. So the next day, <coughs> the water carrier goes down to the village, he fills his pots in the stream, one flawless pot, no cracks whatsoever, really proud, carrying a really full load all the way back to the master's house, and then the cracked pot, trickling his water all the way along, morning, this is one of my little yogis. Hello. <laughs> and of course, it's down there, we were just in relaxation. So, good boy. So, trickling his water all the way along. And he sees lots of flowers, thinking, how beautiful this is. What a beautiful walk. I've never noticed these things in nature before. So, when he gets back to the house, the master, the water carrier says, so what did you see today, Pot? He said, I saw the most beautiful flowers. And he said, ah, yes. 
And there's a reason for that. He said, I knew that every day when I go down to the stream and fill you up, you trickle your water all the way back to the master's house and only come back with half a pot. So one day I planted some flower seeds and I planted them in a row, knowing that every day your water will trickle out and water the seeds and the flowers will grow to beautiful, colourful flowers. And each day then, I go and pick the flowers and put them in a vase on the master's table and put them in there and they will never grow again. Wow. So suddenly it got realising that even though he's not perfect, even though he's got flaws and cracks, he is great in his own special way. Without him, there would be no flowers on the way home. There would be no flowers on the master's table. And so this tells us that none of us are perfect. We all have something that's not perfect. We might have a little flaw. Some of us might not be as good as maths, others as English as others. Some of us might able, not be able to spell as good as our friends, but that doesn't matter because we all have these good things inside us, these good qualities, just like the broken pot. pot. So none of us being perfect. And of course, it was nice as well for them to notice the flowers. So this is something called mindfulness. So if you're going on your exercise today, you might want to notice all those beautiful things around you. So it's called being in the moment. And see if you can notice today those different things. See if on your walk you might see bluebells, flowers. Just have a look and be in that moment and enjoy that time outdoors, that time in nature. And it won't be long, I'm sure, till I can see you all again soon. I'm really, really looking forward to, to our yoga classes. Okay, just well, Lou is going to um, bring the dog, so I think it's time now you came out of relaxation. Just a minute, Lou, let's just get the lovely children out of relaxation. And so just begin to give your fingers and toes a little wiggle and a bite of movement slowly back into the body. Take a nice big stretch with your arms overhead, point your toes and then come all the way up to sitting. I hope you enjoy the yoga and my little tale about the broken pot today. Louie's got her and then when you've done that oh. you can have a look at the little adorable book. There we go, this is our Luna. She's Go. literally just, she's a puppy, but she's literally just sat while I've done the yoga. You're going to the yoga dog bed yesterday. You. She did get a new dog bed. Okay, so I think we'll wrap it up there. Uh, say goodbye, Louie. Bye. Goodbye. Do my yoga. <laughs> so, no doggy who don't know. Um, Louie's my youngest son, he's nine years old. And um, I became a yoga teacher um, because I saw how yoga helped Louie. He's got his t-shirt on today. Show up on your t-shirt, Louie. Tell what it says. I am an autistic Jedi. Autistic Jedi. See ya. So, um, Louis's journey, um, I found that yoga really helped him, um, sort of helped him to sort of focus, helped him to be calm, helped him to deal with emotions. Um, and my lovely friend Emma taught Louis yoga, and in time, I decided that that's what I wanted to do. So, just for those of you that don't know me, a little bit of a bio. Um, just about me and who, who, who I am and how I got into um, teaching the yoga. Um, but obviously, if any of you have any questions, then please don't hesitate to drop me a message and take care. Oh, we haven't done our chant, so shall we do our chant together, Louis? Okay. Can you help me? Come and sit next to me. Do you okay. want the puppy in? We'll get, yeah, we'll get the puppy in and her new bed. Okay, are we ready? Sa, Sa ta, ta, na, ma. ma. Sa ta na ma 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 Take our hands to the centre of our heart. What's our special word that we use here, Lily? Namaste. Can you remember what it means? Light in the shop.
up to the light in you. Yeah, the light that shines in me honors the light that shines in you. Shall we do that together? Namaste. Namaste. See you soon. Take care.